one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Moving on to Bay versus Luxium off collab and the whole Niji is grim. It's very grim. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime, take three. Uh, Mango versus 100, and that is basically like the the, the CCV. Uh, Bay is just doing regular CCV. At least the Mango had an okay CCV, but the brush up for Sunny Briscoe is low. All the other ones on uh, Niji Sanji Yen are low. The highest one was the off collab with Shu, because I guess it was an off collab. But the rest of them are doing pretty poorly from what it looks like. Uh, Luxium didn't do well as expected. Niji's in shambles. Hollow is thriving. Someone says it's an all out war there. Rather unfair comparison, Bay is a JP member. So <laughs> she's not JP, she's Yen. But yeah, they, 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 they uh, Hakotaro is what they call her on the JP side. Jadon, my mog, Jadon, my soul. All right, here we go. Jadon, my soul. People did make that as a meme. If they want viewers, they can always ask. But Niji has more total CCV. Niji sisters, most definitely. Looks like some of the boys are recovering. That's about it at the moment. I think it's because Shu hasn't really been involved in much. And Shu is something that is going to be, uh, you know, continuing to do what they're going to do. Uh, I'm glad that Shu is not getting affected because Shu hasn't done anything wrong, like I said. I criticized Niji Sanji before for not changing their um, uh, Twitter banner, but they finally did change it. It looks like it, at least. They they removed some stuff. That's the stuff that happened before. So that's some land, some Pomo stuff. As you can see here, it's still some land stuff, you know, it's still some regular stuff. Um, they changed it here to not show anything to basically make it like they, they actually filled it up with more stuff. Something they called out for around a month ago. Seems like they'd be clean to terminate graduate livers. Update was so also done on the recruiting site. Tenths of a lot of livers is mostly gone. Virtual reels seems to be missing entirely. The only large crowd event shown in Roth Mile on the one on the lower right. Despite how recent graduation of Bonbon bon doesn't appear to be present, a lot more merch references how times have changed. One time when red circle arrows would probably be useful. Spotted her, but it was basically a game of Where's Waldo. Someone's marked it in the post link to my comment above for some EN at least, and Selene's location was marked in the original post. For JP, I recall it being a Chi-Chan and U Uiba, also Zaya and ID side. But yeah, they removed it. I mean, they should have removed it a long time ago, honestly. Amazing work, any color. Now I don't have to work as hard when I try to play spot the, the liver. I can clearly see any ID representation, the Hana, the focus of action. And most entirely, Iluna and TTT have been shafted on this one too. Hell, I don't think I can see any of their headline guys, like Vic Voltaction, 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 whatever it is, uh, spell their name. Uh, you couldn't even uh, get 15 letters from the EN in the photo. So yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff. It's like, uh, it's just them trying to, I think, cover up their their livers that are gone which is fine it's all good uh, they can do whatever they want with that but i'm glad that they at least uh made it more uh more more consistent i had talked about luca before and we're going to talk about him again because he's still losing more subs he's got from 1.05 to 1.04 so that's about 10,000. as he and shu buy and taste a hundred dollar mango for content this is what they're doing luca Nashiro is video views 101 million that's a lot of interviews by the way but he has 1.04 million subscribers still over a million and as you can see here, the gain video views are up, down, up, down. It's a roller coaster. Gain subscribers, he's going down. He started on July 2022, though. So it has been a steady decline in general. It's not like a sudden decline. He lost 10K on Tuesday. That's just a day. Holy crap. 10K in one day. That is a lot. Holy crap. We're getting to 1 million, boys. Doki and Luca reach, racing to 1 million. I can see this S really hitting the fan once all the livers dips below their 1 million sub mark. Like maybe a liver will finally say something about their haters and clown for opening their mouth. Or maybe they'll ignore it and they get the milestones they've lost. Who knows? Luca goes to 1 million. Let's go. Are we talking about the $100 worth of mangoes, which is a lot of mangoes, or a mango worth 100 bucks? It's a one mango worth 100 bucks. Pretty sure. Basically worth it, but with VTubers, videos were good since they usually had three different price ranges of foods. Just your average influencer thinking wasting money on expensive food is a uh, relatable and is a good content thing. Uh, they have lots of support from Asia. If it was Western audiences, the $100 mango investment would have been a massive financial loss. Uh, they get the memberships from, from Asia, so the Asian fans chiming in big time. $547 in revenue from the stream. It basically makes up for the $100 mango. And here is the proof of this. They have 89k. Oh, well, that's actually 89k. That's not that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But yeah, they get about 500 bucks out of that. 89k yen, of course. 89k yen. Time to try to catch up with other things going on here. We're going to be doing a little bit of fun stuff. We're going here. See your Castoria Doki and raise you my maiden Abyss Doki, who's descended from the ascended from the Abyss. Stubborn Rico, Curse Warding Box, Sovereign of Potato. Terminated Dragon, Curse Warding Burp, Sovereign of Tomato. That works. That actually works very well. I thought that Riku could be compared to Bo uh, Bondrude. Then I remember Bondrude actually cared. And some remember the names of the children sacrificed. So Nidhi Sanji could never even apply here. Yes, it does. If you remember earlier today, uh, we're talking about the views 
that uh, they got or earlier. We're talking about views of that they got with the hundred dollar mango. Really? Right in front of the mangoes? You're stealing stuff. You're doing stuff right in front of the mangoes. I know, right? It's good season for mango place in place at the moment. My uncle has two trees and he gave us a lot. Problem at the moment is that we can't finish them all and become overripe. But make dice mango and store them in the freezer to avoid them going bad. Keep in mind, it's Japanese mango which from what I heard are grown with quality first and foremost. So that's why it's the hundred dollars. And yeah, um, that ain't going to happen for me. I no, 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 no. And also Pomo X Lira. No, no, no. Pomo X Len. Heck yes. Yes. Maybe a hot take would be nice if they can collab again. Yes, it would. Lunar fairy is always goaded source for the Pomo X Len one is this one. Don't feel like doing the Pomo X Lira one because a lot of people don't like them. Might just commission someone to redraw this piece of art or this piece of art for these reasons. So this is, this is this person blood packed rice net. This is what they did. And of course, that's our meme time for today. Uh, this is on uh, Kotoka Torahime, of course. It says, I was here. Congrats on 3D for uh, Toru doing a 3D there. I doubt she's going to be back since we have examples of talents in MIA for a long time and never disclosed that they terminated the talent or graduated. Such as Roa from NGJP, four years until now. And Kataribe. Thing is, of course, we don't want to force anyone to come back because she is technically, well, this is what she said. If we take her face value, she is on a mental health hiatus. She took one because she went to therapy. Her, her therapist told her to do that. So she's taking something for her mental health. I hope she does get better. Oh, Toto got a 3D. Her CCV is pretty good for relative new liver. 48K average CCV for anyone wondering. That is actually very good. Holy crap. That's a very good CCV. CCV, of course, being concurrent viewership. The viewers you have at the moment. That type of thing. This is a, a something about Sayu recently dead, recently said. Some Sayu news here. I'm angry that I was totally literally fooled by Nidhi Sanji and thought Zion Sayu was a bad person. That's why I'm angry at the Selen situation. Uh, watch an uh, I'm, I'm sure Expert's video on termination, but they did the Zion was evil, plain and simple. The guy really knew the YouTuber. He's so good. Final part is that video was chilling. The line, if anyone can become folk devil, then the next one should be you. It's forever engraved in my mind. So yeah, um, it's all about the Kotoka situation. Done dirtiest with Kotoka, done dirtiest with Finana. Very surprised and alarmed by how many people were against her when I started. I was like, do people not see what's going on with her and how terribly she's being treated by the company? What is the reason she would have to lie through what she wants to write about her experience? She literally had nothing to lose. And then her gen mates did all the bad stuff. Let's see exactly what this person says here. Kotoka statement first. Obviously, uh, what's said in the announcement is pretty simple and clear, I feel like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, that sounds like something someone who, Okay, I'll be nice and say that that's something that English is not her native language. So, and I'm not saying that her English sucks or anything like that. I'm just saying maybe she thought these things just actually happened. If you believe what those things are of face value, if somebody says this person was lying about getting a sponsorship, you know, that's one of the things that were on the, on the thing, then, then fine. I guess I just don't get that because I, I don't understand believing a company over your friend. There are yeah, people out there. That really does I suck. Think it's, I think it's sad. That's all. I don't think it's a good thing to do unless you really consider that person to just be worthless to you the thing that makes me mad about this whether she actually thought this or not what happened on the termination was actually true or not and again she's not used to having this kind of power because influencers have a lot of power in what we say we have to be very careful about what we say what she's very says careful makes it sound like zion is a more horrible person and that everything is true whether or not she realizes that or not and because she was in a position that she would know right yeah exactly so it's to her sense, no, because i have no reason to because i actually expressed that i still thought that we could talk things out and be friends but i know that she does not want that i've been backed up by a lot of people i actually had a huge ptsd of females for a very yeah, i remember I, I went over this she had a huge ptsd of females I, was very of them. I knew that they would be very dishonest with me it happened again kind of thing you know like and yeah females tend like people human beings tend to be dishonest but if you have more issues with women with females then yes you are going to have ptsd because they can stab you in the back we just talked and this happened twice with another girl there obviously who was one of zion's someone that zion thought she was very close to as well and she also got backed up after they talked which was even worse they talked privately and cleared up everything and explained things and she basically told the story that got told before they talked it was her thoughts on what happened before they even talked things through and that's why i am angry at her because it's like the whole talk never happened between the two of them like they talked privately in dms and oh boy yeah. i wish i wish she had screenshotted that but it was very very long like i do not like accusing people of doing things that are bad or negative i don't like doing that because a lot of people just make mistakes i make mistakes yeah, a lot, a lot of people, people make mistakes. Wording, but I do not do not understand why she would talk about what happened if they had already talked things through as if they had. Like, it's very, very hurtful. And I think that being in the industry, in this space for so long, she knows the weight of her words. Not like Kotoka, where Kotoka maybe didn't know the weight of her words, how much it would affect and hurt the person afterwards. But the other one definitely did. And that is what I don't like. I think that is very ill-willed. Very ill-willed and very nasty. It's just very nasty to do that. And that's why a lot of people don't like Kotoka, don't like Finana, don't like that, because they felt that they were being very nasty, very mean, very evil in the way that they did things. And, you know, some people agree, some people disagree. It is up to you to decide what you want, what you think about the situation. But I just don't like it. Now, moving on to some positive stuff when it comes to things happening on the side of 
independent VTubers. Uh, the Clown Duel will be doing a panel AX. Basically, Michi Mochi V and Kudo are going to be doing something at Anime Expo. XR stage, pa stage panel, way up about random experiences. It's going to be fun. Will Kuro Sanji pull out an AX now? It's not Doki, so it's still going to attend. Oh, hell yeah. These two have always been the best banter. Them bantering is like in front of con panel. It's going to be great. The power couple. Hell yeah. The people are loving this. Hope Michi can knock some maturity into him after the debacle with Rima. He has left the goodwill for me. I love Michi. She's just so funny. So this is a little bit of, of an update. And it's always good to uh, see that they're going to be going and doing this at, at uh, Anime Expo. And here's on the V Shoujo side. Can I uh, state here that Michi's joining V Shoujo has been the best thing to happen for the both of them? Agreed. Honestly, Kuro, Mata, and, and Michi joining has been the best thing to happen to V Shoujo. Basically, that's what a lot of people think. Cannot wait to watch it. A lot of people are going to be watching this. A lot of people are excited about this. V Shoujo is doing a really good job of pushing their talents out there. I like that. We have Michi Mochi V who's talking about the time that she got recognized at a con, I guess because of her, her voice. It was a giant nail in the head that gave it away. Of course, the giant nail in the head would, would give it away to anybody. Of course it would. Guys, a while ago, right, I used to have a friend that's a streamer. Yes, yes. I used to have a friend that's a streamer, but everyone knows that I'm their friend. Let's just say that, okay? I don't know. Point is, I went to a event. This was like a while, like a couple of years ago. Or was it a year ago? I don't remember. But I went to an event one time and I thought I was like very hidden. I like, I'm a big Oh no, she thought she was person, hidden. So I thought that I was being so like secretive, right? Nope, I had she a wasn't. mask on, I had like a sweater on, I covered myself up, like whatever. But you just debuted it. Well, this is not about VTubing. You know, this is about something else. I used to do other work. I used to other do other work. work before this, okay? That also requires anonymity. Point is, I was hidden. I, I thought I was hidden. And I was walking around the convention, the LDR, I went to the convention and I saw Papillion Mare selling cool merch and i went off to her booth and i was like can i can i have one of the, the cool merch but i said an indo and the thing is i don't speak indo on stream as much so i thought i mean in general right haha <laughs> but not a lot of you guys kind of hear me talk in indo i feel like i sound a bit different in indo though it's the same oh okay well i don't know then but tldr they i think they knew who i was I, like i think papilio mayor knew who i was and oh God. basically i took money right out of my bag and i was like here's the money for the merch i want to get and then papilio mayor took out a whole box this was the first thing i've ever gotten from like anyone papilio mayor took out a whole box and handed over to me and i thought it was a gotcha right because yeah. sometimes chat during events uh sellers yeah, you sometimes have, like, do a get a gotcha system, sometimes and people you can do, basically do just put your hand in the box do and just kind of like shovel your weight in there and like take any gotcha items, right? So I saw it. Oh my God, we have a gotcha system. So I was waiting for Papilio Mare to open the box so I can like put my hand in there and gotcha, right? But no, Papilio Mare looked at me and they were like, this is for you. The whole box like, is what? for you, lady. Papilio was like, no, this whole box is for you. And I was like, um, um, why though? Sweats? I was like, sweats? Wh why are you giving me a whole box, Papilio Mare? And the thing is, right? I'm not the smartest person in the world. To be fair, I could have played it off very well. I could have just been like, oh, um, wh what is this? I'm so surprised, haha. -ha. Giving a rando like me a box of stuff, haha. -ha so surprising but no i decided to say oh my god thank you so much i didn't know you'd recognize me i didn't know you'd recognize <laughs> me oh my god just confirmed it i was like what you know oh my god thank you so much <laughs> i i couldn't think okay i never this never happened to me so i was like Arr. i was freaking out like i even like raised my voice and everything i was really loud i was like oh, thank you so much oh my god and papilio mayor had to be the one to look at me and go like shh like they put their finger on their mouth and everything they shushed me they were like shut your mouth they're like mm. they're like shh not too loud not too loud people can hear you <laughs> not like, too oh, loud my oh, friend right, not right, too sorry, loud my bad thank you so much and they're and yeah basically she got that and that's what michi deserves michi deserves to be able to get something like that it was it's fun it's fun when something like that happens i'm glad for her i have another thing with mgs brain rot this time when it comes to uh her and oh my god michi's gonna play mgs series try imagining try to understand the mgs thing give it a few months before she's referring to lali lulelo and here we have it here we have her doing Games her thing. Games on Sun Hill and Metal Gear Solid. Chat, this is my first time playing horror and shooting. I've never played like horror games or... It's either I play shooting games or horror games. Or story-based games. Like, I'm talking about indie story-based games. I don't usually play... This is my first time playing a horror shooting game, I think. Yeah? Usually the games, like the horror games I play is like, you can't fight back. Like, oh, you can only really? Run. Interesting. Like Outlast, for example. Old Silent Hill are... Ooh, horror. Really? Classic horror. What is Silent Hill about? Boil it to me because I'll never play it, okay? Silent Hill is a lot more horror. I will never play Silent Hill. I will just say this right now. I will never. You will never see me touch Silent Hill in my whole entire life. So just spoil it to me. Metal Gear Solid is a story-based stealth game. Not horror or shooter. Silent Hill is horror. I have a friend that really likes Metal Gear, so Metal Gear Solid. Like, she's a big fan of it. And not gonna lie, her... Yeah. Passion That's of course Metal made Gear me. Solid. Of course. It's kind of convincing me to try it out, but I don't know. Silent Hill is about a quiet hill. Thanks, chat. Thanks. Oh, we know. Yeah, I think you know Mint. Yeah, Mint is a big M um, MGS fan. So Mint talks about it a lot, and her talking about it is making me like, what's so good about the game? Like now I'm getting curious because you're so passionate about it, right? Mint is obsessed. She is. I don't know. Mint is I very obsessed about the game. That. I haven't seen Absolutely. any spoilers aside from like unironically fan art. 
The only spoiler of a Metal Gear Solid that I've ever seen was because of fan art of Mint. You know how, bro, the tunnel goes deep, okay? It's not even like, oh my god, yeah, my friend's obsessed with the game, smile. No, I, the only way, the only reason I've even heard about Metal Gear Solid and got spoilers of it was because of fan art of Mint and Metal Gear Solid. Tonic and that's the kid, only way I could see it. Is it horror? Yes. Good old quiet fan art, exactly. It's an experience. You can do lots of different things in the game. Oh. Oh, it's not horrid. I don't mind trying then. Invite Mint to be sure. I have. I mean, by the end of the day, it's not my place to say, right? Like, it's not my place to drag her forcefully, but I have. A lot of us have, actually. Mint will be very happy if you try it. I just don't tro troll me, okay? My heart gets really scared. So yeah, she's going to be trying uh, Metal Gear Solid, of course, and it's going to be great for her. I think it's going to be working very well, as I said here. She's going to enjoy it. Uh, but of course, it's not something that she usually does. So I don't know how it's going to go with that. Here is a Hololive one. Imagine how many positive changes we'd see if Nidhi Sandi talents lives of the companies actually cared. Clip is only slightly related, but it shows what happens when you get good support. This is about Suise and her dad. How much healthier Doki's family will be now if they weren't forced to watch her child be manipulated in the way that happened and the things that happened with them. Please be gentle with intern Kun is already struggling managing 10 members at a time. Takes a lot of effort to ignore Alira and female livers, asking them to help when they're being harassed by a male liver. That's why I want to attack. I don't want to attack Alira with the if the rat is not true. Yeah, it's best not to attack Alira if the rat isn't true. Of course, this is all assuming the rats are true. So here we're gonna go with Suise, and we're gonna get to the part that's important, which is around. Dad used to be a heavy drinker and a smoker. Drank until he couldn't remember anything. And then he has, next day he has a hangover and throwing up and everything like that. Practically it became BGM for her. But he reached the age where he starts gardening and gardening thanks to her. So she sent him money out of what she makes to renovate the house and told him, stop drinking, stop smoking, renovate your house, enjoy your house. Please cut back on it, yeah. But yeah, he's still tight drinking, and then, you know... Uh, it's only when the doctor tells you that you're about to die that this is gonna happen. He took the, advice, the doctor's advice seriously, he went into gardening, stopped smoking, stopped drinking. Not to the point where he gets hangovers anymore, so he starts getting a little bit more relaxed. He does sunbathing? Probably does nude sunbathing. The bugger. Cuts away unnecessary parts of the grass. So he's getting more exercise, getting more movement, and he got a healthy score. The numbers are within safe range. He was all happy. Jesus, he had 600 above it, and now he's damn, he's almost 10% of what he used to be. Holy crap. Yeah, he became whale healthy. But yeah. It's basically, it's thanks to Suisei sending money because of how successful she's been in her daily life, in her things that she's doing. She's been extremely successful when it comes to uh, taking care of her father, when it comes to taking care of her family. She's become really successful with that, and that is why it's going well. If Nidisanji could only do that for their livers, that would be great. But, you know, they don't care as much. And this is a little bit of a hollow life break that we have here. I wanted to cover this because it is important for people to... You know, calm down, calm your tits, or whatever you want to call it. Calm down a little bit. Uh, Crony's asking fans to use common sense and stop talking about honkadonkas, badonkers every time they get. One last thing, since the context is cut off again. To those that actually watch, I said that I appreciate boobas, but there's a time and place for everything. For example, people bringing that up in a super chat rating is irrelevant and distracting. So all I'm asking is, don't, just don't do it. I do hope no one spams that S again. Uh, two and two, no one makes their personal life goal to stop posting about my queen's crony's tits. On this sub, you can pretty much assume it's very at least the second one. Good luck to crony on cleaning up the community because she's gonna need it. Yeah, I mean, it's good for them to calm down, they can do it every once in a while. But I think the issue that she has right now is that they're doing it every single chance they get, like several times in the stream. It does get tiring, but you are a part of YouTube, and there are people who are like 13, 14 on YouTube. So there are people that are like that and there are people who are going to, uh, you know, have that type of mentality. Even if they're 40, they will have that type of mentality. People are still mentioning the sandwich despite it being how long. And the booboo does get annoying after point, your point of view if the streamer herself isn't instigating it. Like I'd expect lewdness on Arissa streams. Woman straight up said she has sin tied lewds um, and kind of image doesn't get the girls like section, section boundaries. 
like, yeah, it's good to keep boundaries. I mean, that's the thing. Keep boundaries. People on the internet and common sense. Truly no greater uh, adversaries exist. Yeah, just pretty much. She's just asking you to chill. You can still say it. You can still do that. But just chill with as much as it's been happening. Yes, she does have badonkas. She does have big ones. It is a thing. It's obvious. She knows it. Everybody knows it, but don't just cause them stress by absolutely mentioning it every single time. This is a bit of a discussion that's going on with Science Synchronicities is putting this out there. I want to cover it. I swear I just have so many more complaints about the internet than things I enjoy about. Am I just getting old or something? I hate the way people treat each other. Oh, I agree with this 100%. I agree with this 100%. I hate how people devalue harmful words. I hate how the small things make people feel they have the right to end someone's well-being. Oh, yeah. With, you know, the recent person that tried to cancel me, another person before that, that use the Google Doc to try to cancel me. And you guys uh, share something you enjoy or dislike about the internet. I enjoy how it can bring us together. I absolutely enjoy how it can bring us together. Absolutely do. It can combine you. It can bring you into a community that maybe you would have never met. People, you can meet people all over the world that maybe you would never meet if you hadn't done it. You know, forums were a good place. Better when you didn't have to share your space on the internet with fan base of maniacs. Uh, and other weirdos, everyone's nearly corralled into their own pens where they can scream into the void. Yes, oh my god, this. The world is just so much more peaceful. Everyone would say, just join Discord, but it's not the same. Maybe we'll make our own forum. That would be interesting. I've been part of a VTuber forum for the last three years or so. It's pretty nice. It's not for everyone, though. Uh, internet sucks now. It used to be better. It's just all ads, bots, and bigotry. All the bots. I forgot to mention that. Pretty old, so I could tell a lot about the internet since I've been on it when I wasn't cool yet. When people spending more than an hour are marked and called slurs. Yeah, the bearded guy. So beautifully written. Thank you. Good part of it is uh, easy you and many other awesome VTubers. Yeah, the VTuber thing is one of the positive things. You can bring, you can create a community. You can bring a community to you. You can create happiness. But I absolutely agree that it is not, it is something that is tough because you have a lot of people trying to cancel you. When I started growing, I had former friends, one former friend, who uh, streams around the same times that I do, they try to cancel me. Uh, in fact, thanks to them, I did get semi-canceled. So that worked. And of course, because I don't know why, because some people just want to mark knock others down. It just seems that way because they never tried to talk to me. I was I had them on Discord. I tried talking to them. They never answered me. And then they acted as if I was the one who never answered them. Like I was the one who never did anything, said anything, whatever you want to call it. They try to act like I was the one who did something bad. But yeah. And then recently with the other dude who tried to cancel the media, trying to cancel me, that happens. Kind of missed the time with doing voice call on Skype and mumble team speak for guild stuff. Oh man, it was so fun digging the internet mysteries and interesting info, knowing it'd be an entire journey. Yeah, I hate how everyone is always so quick to attack people. I miss flash games. 100% can relate to this. As bad as it gets, so one thing inspired other creators. So it's always see you later, never goodbye. I'm excited to see how it rises and how, from the ashes again. But yes, I do actually think that there are good things that can be brought out of the internet. And you get to see a lot of people like, thanks to the internet, I was introduced to Hololive, introduced to VTubing, tried to do it myself, and here I am. But also thanks to the internet, like I said, I tried to get, someone tried to cancel me twice. Two people tried to cancel me. Once was a, a former friend, and the other one, which I made a video about, you can look it back on it, I think it's in, I, it, I called it my response. I responded to that, to that, those threats, those, those situation. And also I made one on Duncan recently. So there's a, a lot of different things that have been happening, but still one of the great things for me is having you all, the people who watch, the people who are on, on stream and watch and watch my videos and everything like that, having you all here. That's one of the beautiful things about the internet. On to more news, of course, because I want to keep this thing going. Uh, Mint's first ever concert performing Bao Utena and Miori in virtual vacation at El Rey Theater in Los Angeles on June 5th. It's this one right here, virtual vacation with Bao and then Utena Utano, Utano, and Miori Celesta. They're all good singers. So if you notice, the Nidisanji concert is happening a day later, July 6th, at the Peacock Theater, which is also in Los Angeles. Same place, I saw Demon Dice, a fake type, and Teddy Lloyd. Anyone taking bets against this bigger audience, the Nidisanji. It's, El Rey is a smaller theater. El Rey is a much smaller theater. So it's not going to be. Uh, they're going to have full. It's going to be full, but El Rey is a much smaller theater than the Peacock Theater, honestly. El Rey is maybe like 500 to 1,000, maybe, maybe. Um, when, you know, the Peacock Theater is like 7K or something. Announcement tweet for y'all. Mint's tweet. First one, many to be sure. I'm glad that she's getting this kind of actually moment. Not a huge deal. Grand scheme of things, but it would probably be good for Oshi Park. Oshi Spark could be bothered to get the particular spelling of the venues correct. That would be great. Now we have Oshi Spark here. El Rey Theater. Virtual vacation. Uh, don't miss your chance to see these amazing VTubers. It's going to be July 5th. 
which is the day after the 4th of July, which is Independence Day over here in the U.S. And here is the announcement from Made Mint. Of course, I always like showing my sources and support Made Mint if you have the chance. So there's a new VTuber site that this, that she's talking about. Uh, don't know if she failed, but it's one thing she's talking about. It was made by the same guy who funded and sold Prism Project to Sony. Just can't see it working because it'll never compete against Amazon and Google on server hardware costs. So yeah, because Amazon controls Twitch, Google controls YouTube. There's no room for another streaming platform. Claims to bypass all the complex configuration and hardware requirements and the model upload requirement means that it's going, it's trying to run VTuber models on its servers instead. It's going to add more lag and more hardware costs to the business too. The Switch alone has almost 4 million streamers. VTubers will not trust it in their, with their models. It just doesn't require the files to run the model. It requires the files containing all the data to recreate the model. Yeah, no, that's, that's like, no. A lot of people, myself included, will not run on that. Based on previous attempts at platforms, only specific niche, but willing to guess it's going to end up with a large number of small creators and no viewers. They always end up uh, with uh, small creators trying to cross promote their content and trying to trade views with each other. Maybe you'd have more success if larger VTubers join. Uh, Ninja could, couldn't save Mixer. Ninja, Ninja couldn't save Mixer. Big ones couldn't save for these guys. Talking about the new company that's only streaming on their own platform. I think it's Annie Live. Talking about the platform they're using, Annie Live. Yeah, it's pretty much it. She doesn't like it because it's very restrictive. It's just not good overall. Follow me. So I don't want anybody to like dogpile or like be mean to whatever I'm going to say. Like to the issue that I'm addressing because it's cringe. There's like this new app. <laughs> There's this new app. That's VTubing app only called Annie Live. That I yeah, saw it's that one. Today, and I saw people announcing that they were going to stream on that app. And I see uh, uh, a it's fellow, not inclusive uh, content enough. creator slash person who rigs for the community asking about their practices. And apparently, they do not work with VTube Studio. You have to upload your model onto their site so that it can be imported and made compatible to stream on their site. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no for me. That's a no from a lot of people. We protect. It's our intellectual property. We protect it with that and that's not going to happen that's not going to work so any live is not going to work if they if they require you to do that that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you